There are only two matchups of ranked teams happening this weekend in Division II college football, but out of the two, only one will be a battle of unbeatens overall and in conference play. That's right, I'm talking about the number two ranked Angelo State Rams football team who welcomes the 15th ranked Texas A&M Kingsville Javelinas to San Angelo Saturday night. The biggest matchup of the year this season so far for the Rams. ASU's path to 7-0 has seen them pick up wins by just about 20 points with their closest game being a three-point victory in overtime against then number 12 Colorado School of Mines. As for the Javelinas, their wins have been at an average of just just over 22 points, picking up three wins by seven points or fewer through the first seven games of the season. All right, so not only are these two averaging the same amount of points during the regular season, let's look at the tail between the tape of the two of play so far. The number one scoring offense in the Lone Star Conference, Angelo State, just above the 34 point Mar uh, mark this season. Very closely behind them, Texas A&M Kingsville sitting at exactly 34 points per game through the first seven weeks of play. Defensively, the roles are flipped, but not by much. The number one defense in the conference, the Javelinas, allow just roughly 12 points per game through the first seven weeks, but right behind them, Angelo State, exactly 13 points allowed per game in this season. So we went to the source, the high-powered offense of Angelo State, to see what, if anything, will be changed as they prep to take on the number one defense in the conference. Here's what they had to say. Honestly, we treat it like it's this the next week um, because it is in reality. It's the next game. Um, yes, it's a big game, week eight, going against an undefeated opponent um, at home, homecoming, ranked opponent as well. So, um, looking outside on the outside, looking in, it's a big game. But in our, in our eyes, it's just the next one. So we just try to keep that mindset. The Kingsville's a very, very they've had a very good year and um, very talented team very talented on defense uh, like you said they do a really good stuff they stop the run awesome so that's gonna be a huge challenge for us um, but looking forward to the opportunity on Saturday for sure all right, so looking at things more closely defensively, AM Kingsville ranks first in the conference with points allowed per game through seven games this season, but not far behind them sitting Angelo State. The Javelinas have allowed 82 points this year, the Rams at 91. And then if you want to look even deeper through seven games this far, the two haven't allowed their opponents to find the end zone much. Kingsville allowing just 10 touchdowns through seven games, Angelo State only 12. Here's the Rams on how they hope to stay red hot on the defensive side of the ball. Even at the start of the season, you know, we really tried to focus on being an elite defense. And that's what we try to carry out um, as far as every game. And this particular game, you know, it's, it's a good offense, you know, a really good offense. They're, you know, undefeated just like us. So if we get this, well, when we get this win, uh, you know, our defense, we will just be extremely proud of that, how we play each and every game. We're very multiple in how we attack people. and We try and look at, you know, what their strengths are, what their weaknesses are, and, uh, you know, see if we can eliminate their strengths, take away their strength, and make them rely on their weakness, and uh, just try and find uh, the best way possible to, to exploit any issues we see within them and put our guys in the best position to be successful. So every week we kind of try and adjust and adapt to, uh, to who they are uh, to, to put ourselves in the best position to be successful.